Clinically, there's no difference between immersion biometry and coherent light methods of measuring axial length prior to cataract surgery. Fixed immersion biometry makes it easier to get on axis and obtain scans as an internal shelf positions the probe at the exact distance from the cornea as recommended by the manufacturer. Quantel provides a Prager shell, the only FDA approved device, with each biometer. VSS will be infused through sterile tubing to create a water bath between the cornea and the probe tip. The tubing for single use is to prevent transfer of microorganisms from patient to patient. This particular tubing has a check valve so there is no reflex of BSS back into the bottle. This is a cost saving feature because a small bottle of BSS can be adequate for three to five patients. After each measurement, don't forget to soak the shell with probe attached and alcohol for at least five or ten minutes to kill any residual bugs and then discard the tubing. Attaching the tubing to the lure fitting on the side of the shell is very straightforward. The outer ring of the lure fitting tightens by turning to the right. Removing the used tubing requires a counterclockwise twist of the outer ring and it's important to pull the ring back slightly to engage a set of teeth on the end of the tubing then continue twisting until it is fully removed. Patient cooperation is paramount. Begin by applying topical anesthetic to each eye. A detailed explanation to the patient aids in creating a successful outcome. Obviously, if you just insert the shell in an uninformed patient, you will create a nervous individual who is reluctant to cooperate. Before I insert the immersion shell, I might lightly put my thumb over the eyelids, and if it flutters, I will leave my thumb in place for 15-20 seconds until the tremors disappear. Note that the tubing attached to the shell faces the ear. In other words, it's always on the temporal side of the face. On the left side, it's going to face the left ear. On the right side, the right ear. As a biometrist, I focus on keeping the rim of this hard plastic shell off the cornea. It's very easy to remove epithelial cells or microtoming the cornea such that it's going to be very irritating to the patient and take a while to heal, especially in the diabetic patient. I ask the patient to direct their gaze downward. Look at your feet. Look way, way, way down. Now, open both eyes and look up to the top of your head as I'm inserting the Prager shell. Note that my hand is resting on the forehead. I'm actually reducing the shell's downward force. Having minimal pressure on the eye will be appreciated by the patient. In the same vein, it's very instructional for you, the health professional performing this test, to have this procedure performed on you at least once or twice to experience what it's like from the patient's point of view. I'm going to move the Kleenex to the temporal side of the shell in case any water dribbles out. I'm filling the shell slowly to cover the bottom of the probe by squeezing the BSS bottle. Have the patient look straight forward and depress the foot switch. It just takes a few seconds to acquire 10 readings. That's the advantage of the fixed immersion shell technique. To remove the shell from the patient's eye, have the patient look up, look way, way up to the top of their head, Gently pull down the lower lid and rotate the shell out away from the eye. Mop up any residual water and this concludes the examination. Always measure both eyes as they should be within 0.3 millimeters of one another. A one millimeter mistake results in a three doctor error. Inspect the acquired waveforms, make sure they are equal height, not stair step, and that you see spikes behind the retina.